do you document processes? It's all well and good for me to stand here and say that you need to document your processes, but it doesn't need to be a difficult process, excuse the pun. Um, basically, it's a way of recording what people are doing. So if it's something like making coffee, grab your phone, get someone to hold it, talk through the process of, of how you make the coffee with the coffee machine. And then you've got a video that the next person can, can watch to make sure that they don't burn your coffee. If you're doing something on a computer program, use one of the screen capture softwares to record what you're doing, but get whoever's doing it to explain what they're doing at the time. It doesn't take long. It doesn't have to be an onerous process. It's just as you do something, you hit some kind of record. Now, when we think of processes, we always think of a big fat process and procedure manual that sits over in the bookshelf and it's something that people don't look at. That's definitely not what we're trying to create here. What we're trying to create is a depository of information that people can grab what they need. And having a system to store it is, is essential, but actually creating the process is really simple get that video happening. You've also got to remember that different people learn different ways. Some people are happy to watch a video and, and have a go. Some people like a flow chart that they can follow. Some people like words. So it's always ideal if you can. In, in our experience, you start with the video and then you break that down into a flow chart and words and you store them all together in the same place. So whoever's looking, for that content and whatever the how-to is, um, can find it in the way that suits them. It really doesn't take that much more effort and it's definitely not a musty old clipboard or a, a, a folder that sits in the back corner that when the industry body comes and says, where's your processes and procedures, you lump it out in front of them. You want this to be a living, breathing depository and as processes change, as systems change, you update them and remove the old ones. So don't leave old ones there so it confuses the daylights of the newbies. So that's how to record a process. If you want assistance with that, please let me know. I'm always happy to, to brainstorm with you um, or also to, to give you some tips and tricks on what software to use.